Okay. Um, I got a guy challenging me to a duel. So, we're gonna do it. You a tough guy, mister? I hope so. We gonna have a showdown. You're in way over your head, son. I'll shut that mouth of yours for good. Yeah, you wanna talk smack? You wanna talk some smack, huh? You wanna talk smack? Tobias Weldon? You wanna talk some smack? You accept the duel, press X to skip the tutorial. I don't remember what to do exactly. And just so you don't pick your gun back up, you're gonna have to buy a new one. What's the rush there? There we go. Don't try me. Don't you try me. Look at him, look at him. He's already at the edge of town. He's he's out. He's gone. Alright. Let's go ahead and um, do this um American appetites. Excuse me, miss. You okay, lady? My husband's missing. These bastards won't do anything. But he's a good man. He don't drink, nor lay with whores. And he's been, he's been missing for three days. Let me guess. You went missing up in the hills? How did you know, mister? Just a guess. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. But people seem to go missing up there. We ain't got much money, and I'm with the family way again. As I said, I'll do what I can. <laughs> Go search for the man by Hanging Rock. All right. Um, my battery on my computer's running low, so um, I'm gonna finish this part of the mission. I'm gonna fin. Come here, horse, Jesus. I'm gonna finish this part of the mission, and then after that, then I'll, um, I'm probably not gonna commentate over the, uh, Nigel West Dickens mission. So it's gonna be a short video, and there's not gonna be commentary over it, but, um, yeah. At least I don't have much editing to do. And you're still gonna get your video, so, yeah. It's a positive for both people. You get your video and I don't have to do much editing. Come on, hurry it up. Cause I don't know how long this battery's gonna last. Come on. Oh, easy up there. Oh, mister! Mister! Some city fella just attacked me and broke my leg. What? He broke my leg. Some city fella. Guy got kind of creepy on me. And then he got violent. When? Just now. Uh, he ran off that way. Can't have gone too far. If I find him, I'll bring him back this way. Thank you, mister. <laughs> Why won't you people just leave me alone? What you think you're going to do? Just attack this dude and get away with it, man? Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. I got 19 minutes left for this battery, supposedly, but, you know, it's always Don't lies. Don't take me back to that man. No, you're, you're going back to this man. You're going to apologize. You are going to apologize to this man for what you've done. Okay, do you not understand? He's a damn lunatic! Oh my good lord, please get that man away from me! Uh, uh, hey fella! <laughs> you broke this poor fool's leg, mister! This maniac tried to eat me! We've got cannibals in these here hills! Please help me! What? Please. Fella's gotta eat now. Fella's got to eat. Uh, <laughs> save 
save me from this freak, please! Please! <laughs> <laughs> Damn well, I'm not about to allow this guy to. You better get back into town quickly, cause there's gonna be some coyotes. Look at that! There were cannibals in these hills. All right. Well, uh, let me go ahead and get back into town and do uh, Nigel West Dickens. But um, yep. Like I said, not gonna be some. Com there's not gonna be any commentary over um the um. West Dickens mission, so, um, yeah, after, after the West Dickens mission, the video is going to be over, so I'm going to go ahead and say, um, I hope you guys enjoy the, um, video, and, um, this is, bye, for, uh, my voice, and goodbye, goodbye, dear friends. And I can tell you, with no uncertainty, that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you <laughs> good day, sir. Uh, <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm well, Mr. Uh, Mr. West Dickens. Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap, London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. At your service. At my service. At everyone's service, at the service of science, of knowledge, of life. Uh, <laughs> how are your wounds? Hmm? Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then, they would be. Mm -hmm. Would be. I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just $2 an ounce, I could live forever. Oh, but for you, sir. <laughs> I do a bulk discount rate of 195 an ounce. <laughs> as long as you buy 100 ounces or more, that's a lot of immortality. Oh, uh, give it up, old man. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. Give it up, old man. <laughs> uh, listen, Marston, I'm broke. But this stuff is good. It works. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come along, and let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain while we go. Okay. <laughs> All right, John, let us make haste for Ridgewood Farm. I heard about you, Mr. West Dickens. And I about you, John Marston. Put weak in the weak, gullible out of their hard-earned money. My dear boy, it is you who is gullible, if I may be so bold, for heeding such ill-informed scuttle. Who's full of wind and the horse with the cub? I have been blessed with the gift of language, and for that I will not apologize. But the West Dickens elixirs speak for themselves. Get back on the road! We'll have nothing left by the time we get to Ridgewood! If my tonic is such a sham, how do you explain the fine metal in which you find me? Last time you saw me, I was knocking at death's door. You should thank the doctor for that. I reckon you were acting it up worse than it was. Act I can, John. 
more convincing Othello there has never been. And so shall we, a fair Iago or Cassio, make I don't like the sound of this. Showmanship, John. The flourish. The bow. We are operating in a competitive marketplace. Our product must stand out. And how does this involve me? We're going to use your God-given talents to our advantage. I'm really starting to regret I'll this. I'll drop you off at the outskirts of Ridgewood. That way, it won't look like we came together. Once I'm set up, saunter nonchalantly into the crowd that is sure to be forming. Eventually, I will call you up to try my time. After extolling the virtues, I will have you perform a few feats of wonder to amaze and impress the paying public. You hop out here, John. Follow me in on foot. See you shortly, and remember, showmanship! Springs, gather round, gather round. Do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, uh, neurologic or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article that cures headaches, neuralgia, uh, earache, toothaches, backaches, swellings, sprains, sore chests, swelling of the throats, contracted cords and muscles, anxieties and ravaged nerves, stiff joints, wrenches, dislocations, cuts and bruises, and it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. <laughs> but can you prove it, old man? Oh, I'm sure there's some customer here who could prove the qualities of it by... Take a drink right now. You, sir, come up here. Step right up. That's the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, pay close attention. This poor, wretched volunteer, entirely unknown to me, will demonstrate the effects of Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you say. Well, doubt no longer. Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science, and today, science will be vindicated. Your eyesight is greatly improved, is that not so, friend? If you say so. That's right, it is. You heard him. What a good sport you are, sir. Now, gaze over yonder at that porch. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging there. Go ahead, friend. Shoot that skull and demonstrate the miraculous eyesight you now possess. Sight of an eagle, granted by imbibing Dr. Westicken's own patent tonic. Anybody can make that shot. This man is a fraud. If your eyes so damn sharp, why don't you try shooting my hat out of the air? My friends, our test case has been challenged to shoot a gentleman's hat out of the sky above our heads. You can fool these people, but you ain't fooling me. Right. Let's just see how sharp you is with a moving target. Here it comes. Draw your gun, my friend. You ready to get embarrassed again? Such an eye. Behold the power of the elixir plucked out of the sky. Hey! Hey! You think you can put a hole in a man's hat and just walk 
away, do you? Well, it don't work like that around here, mister. Come on! Are you a man or not? A challenge of battle has been offered to our volunteer. Prepare for a display of Herculean brawn. Ain't this fun? Just look at the strength panic is afforded here. Get down! There it is, skeptics and dissenters, irrefutable proof. Do not let this opportunity pass you by. Look, he's over there. Go get it. This ends now. Watch out, he's got a gun. Look out, mister. Who the hell do you think you are? You ain't leaving here alive. Shot, dear boy! The kind of deadly accuracy that can only be afforded by the West Dickens elixir. Come, I have plenty for all. Yeah, no harm in trying one bottle, I suppose. Well, I think that went kind of well, don't you? I'm just glad that my normal job involves either chasing after cattle or murderers. Not the likes of you, mister. Don't be like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to say my goodbyes, head on back to the real world. Uh, 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 wait, sir. I, I've been thinking about your predicament, and uh, I think I may have an idea. I've been thinking I could be your cunning Odysseus. Beware of the Greeks burying gifts, sir. Mm -hmm. Williamson had better beware. We will make them into Trojans. I don't rightly get you. I want you to go and see my old friend, Seth. Uh, he can come across as a little curious, but I'm sure you two will get on. He's uh, most often found at Coote's Chapel. He's very devout. Why see him? Because between him and me, we can get those gates to open for you, and you can walk right in, just like in Homer's great Trojan yarn! Uh.